D.C. lobbyist Jack Berkman, who claims Seth Rich was killed by the DNC, has been hospitalized subsequent to being shot a few times and keep running over by a SUV on Tuesday. Kevin Doherty, a specialist with the Department of Energy, has been charged by police for the endeavored murder of Berkman, who had been caught up with examining Seth Rich case. Doherty, 46, was accused Monday of use of a firearm in the commission of a felony and two checks of malicious wounding, as per the Arlington, Van Company Police Division. WashingtonPost.com reports, it's a loathsomeness story, Berkman, of Arlington, said in a meeting Monday evening. He is as yet recuperating subsequent to being shot a few times and keep running over by a SUV last Tuesday. Doherty quickly worked for Berkman's profiling project, which was shaped to construct a mental representation of Rich's conceivable executioner. Berkman was putting forth a six-figure remunerate for data on the killing of Rich which police had decided was in all probability an irregular theft yet numerous traditionalists have guaranteed was a piece of a political trick. Berkman said Doherty introduced an amazing resume, ex-Marine, ex-specialist, and did great work. Yet, pressure immediately created. In Berkman's view, Doherty started addressing columnists out of turn and attempted to assume control over the examination. Doherty's military foundation couldn't instantly be affirmed. He turned out to be to some degree irate in light of the fact that he thought the profiling project had a place with him, Berkman said. In July, he cut Doherty free and sent him a quitted letter. I simply figured the issue was shut, Berkman said. In any case, what happened is, I figure, he was stewing and stewing and stewing. In February, Berkman had proceeded onward to another examination. He had put out a call for informants in the FBI, offering $25,000 for any date and uncovering bad behavior in the presidential decision. Before long, he thought he had made it big. A man connected, depicting himself as a senior FBI official with data about then-organization delegate Chief Andrew McCabe who at the time was under an inward examination for his treatment of tests into Hillary Clinton. On Friday, McCabe was terminated, after an inner examination discovered he had managed shamefully with the media and afterward lied about it. He has denied bad behavior. His source dropped off two parcels of messages under a cone in a carport at the Marriott in Rosslyn, Berkman said. I thought I had the tale of the decade, Berkman reviewed. His better half. Susan, was more wary. She cautioned him that she didn't think he was managing the FBI. In any case, he stated, the messages looked super genuine, containing insights about the shrouded foreign intelligence surveillance court. The last drop should be the huge one, the full Auditor General provide details regarding McCabe, which still has not been discharged. Rather, when Berkman twisted around to haul the papers out from under the cone, he was shot in the rear end and thigh. As he came up short on the carport with his dachshund and his arms, he was hit by a SUV. He said the auto moved down to hit him once more. It appeared as though he was coming to slaughter me, Berkman said. Be that as it may, he said a lady viewing from a window of the lodging shouted. A watch came running and the SUV dashed off, Berkman said. Police would not remark for Berkman of the episode. In any case, Berkman said it was by experts that Doherty was found through the SUV. Berkman said police came to him in the healing center with a photograph of his previous representative. He didn't perceive Doherty at first. When he heard his name, he was stunned. Berkman had just met with police in January, when the covered man moved toward his home in the SUV and hit him in the face with pepper splash. No charges have been documented in that occurrence. We experienced a thousand conceivable outcomes, Berkman said. Kevin was not on the run down. Doherty does not yet have a legal advisor in the ambush case and is being held without bond, prosecutors said. Guy Ermtez Fay, who spoke to Doherty on an inebriated driving charge a year ago, likewise communicated to Mays. From what I am aware of him it would be abnormal, Tez Fay said. Berkman said he is currently going with security. Be that as it may, the experience has not soured him on fear-inspired notions. His profiling venture inferred that Rich was shot by a procured executioner, 
and he thinks about whether Doherty was working for another person. He has not abandoned researching Rich's demise, whose family just sued Fox News for distributing a false story connecting their child to WikiLeaks. This in my mind makes the entire Seth story more odd and outsider, Berkman said.